My name is Michael Duke. I'm an associate professor here at the University of Memphis, and this is my th third year here in the Department of Anthropology. Most of my career has been outside of academia, mostly looking at kind of the intersection of anthropology and public health, but specifically a lot of my work focuses on uh, uh, immigrant health. A lot of it has to do with uh, sexual risk, HIV, uh, substance abuse, uh, mental health. I do a lot of stuff with mental health. There's something about the thinking anthropologically that, ca that causes or should cause people to think critically about their own circumstances and their own uh, cultural setting, their own social setting. And so one of the goals that I have as an educator is to be able to instill that sense of questioning, that sense of critique. It's very easy for us to fall into a situation of putting people into categories or to having very rigid ideas about how the world should be. Anthropology it calls all, all of that stuff into question, and I think that's one of the real strengths of anthropology, and then I try to bring that to the fore in my classes. I, I try to incorporate case studies when I can that focus on this part of the world. Uh, many of the students who are here, the undergraduate students, tend to be first-generation college students who are from this area, and so I, that tends to help students kind of plug into the material when it's a, rea it's a reality that they already know. One of the many things that's really uh, special about it is its focus on using uh, an academic department as a change, change agent. You know, one of, the, one of the things that has struck me in the brief time that I've been here is how much the influence of this program has uh, spread out into, into the community. I mean, in most, in many organizations I go to and things like that, uh, people either have anthropologists on staff, know people who have come through this program, uh, and so th that there's something really gratifying about having a department that's really involved in making change happen. As My favorite thing about anthropology is I'm never bored, because everything is fodder for uh, ethnography, and everything is fodder for anthropology, no matter what kind of situation I'm in, you know, whether you're going to get your driver's license or whatever else, it's very, you know, there's always the opportunity of putting on my ethnographer's pitch helmet and, and trying to see what, what's going on in, in the kind of broader social context. And so that alone has been totally worth my becoming an anthropologist. Is I'm one of the few people who never gets bored. <laughs>